So, so far, we started by looking at TU to AB, and we found that it was this triangle here to the big triangle. Yep. And we were happy with that ratio. And then in the second um, video, we found that PQ to BC is the same as this line here, XP to AB. Yep. So I'm going to erase that here. And instead, I'm just going to write in now XP to AB. Okay, and what do you think we can do with this RS to AC or CA? Well, we could try something similar to what we did. So we have we can look at so we could try to. Do some the same thing with one of these RC or SA sides. Okay. So we could look at this. could like look at this side RC, and then this would be the same length as Q. The QX would be the same length as RC. That's true. And then we could relay it, we could make the ratio, and we could correspond these two sides here. Okay. Now, what side are we hoping to get in the ratio? What side of AB are we still missing? What piece of AB? We have to get TA. Yeah, we have to get TA. Oh. So, we could do the same thing for that side. All right. So, the two equal, that's the equivalent side. Okay, so RS to CA equals what? RS to CA equals, um, this equals B, this would be, Would it equal sorry, that would be um X S to A B. Very good. X S to A B. Okay, so now we have an interesting thing. So we just noticed that in this triangle here, R S to A C is the same as S X. To a, B. Yeah. So now we have this up here. We have XP over AB plus XS over um, AB yeah. plus TU over AB. That's our. That's what we're trying to show is equal to one now. So what's interesting about that? So we have these all have the common denominator. So we can just add them up. So we have X XP XS. And then TU. Okay, so you're right. We have XP plus XS plus TU all over AB. And we're wondering, why does that equal 1? What would that mean if that ratio equals 1? So that, well, since that these, since XP is correspond to U, corresponds to UB, and SX corresponds to TA, so that would mean this whole side equals one. So side this to just be basically just A B over A B. That's right. This adds up to be A B. A B over A B which is one. Just one. So that's pretty neat. So so what were the ideas that went into solving this problem? So we used similar triangles to find the equivalent sides and then from that we we use some of the similar triangles to substitute in different equivalent um, ratios for the ones that were there, and then we basically just made a. We just proved that AB equals a AB over AB equals one, which always is true. Very good. It doesn't matter what the side lengths are. Yeah, I thought that was a great problem. That was a good. That was a challenging problem. Good job, huh?